hello it's Talita again and we're going to cover a second part of the scheduler we're going to learn how to create unscheduled appointments as well as family appointments and then we'll talk about how we're going to clean up our queue on the toolbar there is an icon that changes depending on what option was used last time So in this case, we're going to select create unscheduled appointment. We're going to find our patient. And then we're going to be prompted to add services from a treatment plan. And that's what we want to do. We're going to select the restorative items that we want to schedule for this appointment and click Use Selected Plan Services. We gotta make sure we change the appointment type to the correct type of appointment. And then you can change the duration here. You can change provider in case this came out as the incorrect provider. And then you click Save. And then what you're gonna see is that that appointment now lives in our appointment queue. Another thing we can do is schedule a family appointment. So that gives you an opportunity to efficiently schedule several family members. So we're going to click on the icon, click on the drop down, click create family appointment, select a patient that we know has uh, multiple family members. And an easy way to see the age of each family member is just to click on the icon for edit patient. And you can take a glance at the age in case you're scheduling for um, hygiene, for example. So in this case here, when we're setting up our family appointment, we can select the correct appointment type. So in this case, for Charles here is a profi adult. For Jack, it's going to be a profi child and for Janice is a profi adult. Now, you can also change the provider here. So in the case of Janice, she prefers to see Deborah for her appointment. You could have changed the duration here. And now we're gonna mark all and we're gonna click save. Now I could have scheduled just two out of those three patients. I would have just have marked two names. And now if we look at our appointment queue, we have a lot going on here. We have some appointments under copy, under move, under family appointments, and also under unscheduled appointments. But what makes it nice to use the appointment queue is that now all these appointments are quick drag and drop. So we are going to find the date that we want to schedule the appointment for. For example, for Charles Abbott, we're just going to drag his appointment to the desired appointment type. And because this patient has an alert as needing to take premedication before the appointment, we got prompted to whether we want to prescribe that right now. And then we're going to just drag and drop the other family appointments to the time slots we would like to schedule them for. You can always select to not prescribe or set up a task for somebody to prescribe. Another nice thing we can do right under the unscheduled appointments is if we right click on the appointment and click view appointment, we can change the appointment name. So here we can add which doctor they're going to see, if there's any other information that the admin team needs to know. And it's nice because now you can see it right here, all the information that you need for that appointment. 
So think about a multiple appointment treatment. So the patient is coming for a crown and bridge, but they also need to come in for a crown delivery. So I would schedule an appointment one as the crown and bridge and an appointment two as a crown and bridge delivery so I can have everything set up so that when we're ready to schedule this patient, we can go ahead and just drag and drop that appointment. So if we want to schedule chat black, for example, here, all we need to do is find the time where we can make that appointment, drag it from the appointment queue, and drop it into the schedule. And same thing we can do here for our other patient. Jim Samuels needs to schedule some restorative appointments, so all we need to do is find a time on the schedule that allows for restorative appointments, and then drag and drop that appointment as well. Now, if we remember from a previous lesson, when we try to delete an appointment, so if we right click on an appointment and click delete, we are prompted to make some choices before the appointment is actually removed. So in this case, let's say that the patient is canceling for today, but they're going to call back to reschedule. So I would mark this appointment as canceled. I would want to create an account note I am not applying a, an appointment cancellation fee to this, but if you notice, we have an option here, add to quick fill list. So here we can say patient will call back to reschedule. And now this appointment has been removed from the schedule. Now it lives in our quick fill. So if we go up here to the toolbar and click on quick fill, we can see the appointment that we removed from the schedule right there. Now, this is very critical that we go in and we clean this quick fill very, very often. So depending on the policy of your specific office, we're gonna come here and clean it and keep just the most current appointments in there because now every time you try to schedule an appointment for a patient, you're going to be prompted to pull an appointment from the quick fill list and or appointment queue. So if we say yes here, it's going to tell us not only that this patient has quick fill appointments, but also that he has planned services. So in this case, I'm just gonna say no because I see the appointment I want to reschedule right there. And then we're gonna click use. and click save. But as you can imagine, if we're adding every appointment that we delete to the quick fill, that list can get filled pretty quickly. We wanna make sure that we go in and we clean up often. So you can click on the date tab to sort this by date. So you can see the oldest ones up on top and then select the appointment that you want to remove and click delete. And just know that when we delete an appointment from the quick fill, we're not doing any harm. The patient's planned procedures are still in their treatment plan. All we're doing is removing this instance of appointment. And that's it for today. Next time, we're going to explore the clinical chart and learn how to add existing conditions and procedures and propose new items and also add a perio chart. See you next time.